Hi everyone, this is Peter. On our previous video, we have actually shown you what's the difference in between the Max Pre 3, 6 and also 10T. And also, if you want to buy, and then how do you choose in between each other? So for this video, we will intensively showing you how to use the Max Pre system. Okay, the first thing is, if you are not familiar about the mix pre system or you are not familiar how to use um, an audio mixer, don't worry. Okay, first, you have to make it into the basic mode first. How can I go to the uh, basic menu? You go to the touch screen and then there is a three black lines over here. So once you press this and then you will actually jump into the menu. So then you go into menu and then touch the menu. And then at the end, you will see there is a system here. You go into system and then there will be a mode. So if you go into the mode and then you set to basic, and then the whole setup on the mix pre system will be actually go into the basic mode. So especially when you actually go into each channel and also go to the functions, and then you will find out it is more simple. But because we want to show you how to use it, so I will back it into the advanced mode. So how to do it? So let's go again. So go into the three lines here and then press the menu button and then go to system and then go to mode, you choose advanced. Then you are actually in the advanced mode. First, okay, we need to choose like maybe what your mic is actually plugged in. At this moment, I've plugged a shotgun mic into the channel four. So then what you need to do is press the button. So when you press the button, this is the menu of the advanced mode. So you will see there is a lot of information. Okay, for example, the solo. So that means when you press solo, and then you will only hear this channel only. So you can also mute and then arm recording. What is arm recording is when you actually go back to the menu, and then you will see in the display, it's showing you some of the channels highlight in red or orange color. So that means this channel when you record it, and then they will record it this channel. So you will see, especially the channel one is actually in gray color. So that means channel one will not be recorded into the SD card. So you have to make sure that, for example, like if I now, okay, switch off the M recording, in the menu, you will see the channel four will actually disable, so in gray color. So make sure that if you want to record this channel separately, and then you have to press the arm recording. Okay, so then you can go to a gain. What is gain is actually that is talking about like a pre-fade and also a post-fade. So the, when the pre-fade, that means, okay, when I actually set up a channel uh, or, or, or input, and then you have to actually give them a gain and then to make the audio into a certain level. But it doesn't mean that like this will actually straightly out into left and right channel. So when I go to the gain and then I can using the uh, the button up here and then to change the level at the same time there is a knob at the side and then you can change the audio level here too pen pen will be actually showing you that you want this channel want this input is actually in in center or maybe left or right low cut when sometimes you got like maybe some hum, uh, a very low frequency sound for example like air con and then you want to cut it off you can using this a low level cut and then you can twist and then to give you like maybe a certain frequency cut off but beware okay if you cut off the low um, level um, frequency at the same time you also cut off some frequencies from your voice so on the next page and then it will show you more important information for example like is this input is actually come from a mic or a lime lime what is a lime okay if you actually practice prop this into maybe a PA system, and then some items, maybe some products, is actually a line level, it's not a my level. So you have to make sure that you actually choose the right light maybe setting. So because I got like a shotgun here, and then, okay, this shotgun need to be, uh, need to have like maybe a phantom. So I have to press the button and then to make it into a phantom. So once I do that, you will see the level will have show you actually some colors. Green colors is actually showing you that you are actually in a very uh, in a good level. So if you go to, for example, like now uh, in a paint, uh, in a orange or a red color, it means that you are actually go to 
uh, peak or maybe the uh, limiter is already do the job and then suppress the level into a normal uh, situations. So when you do that, you have to make sure that like maybe you have to change the uh, or um, the gain and then to lower. For example, right now. Okay, I go back and then I go to gain and then I just like put it back into a bit lower and then to make sure that all the level is actually into a green color. So that means in the safety zone. Okay. So then, okay, you can also set the delay because as I said, if your audio level is come from a PA system and then it might have a delay. So uh, you can actually use the delay to control each levels, uh, each channels. So this is important to make sure that like maybe each audio level and uh, is, uh, is in the uh, uh, correct positions. So when you go back in here and then you will see your particular channels have audio level you don't have any left and right because that will be the post fade. So when you want to get the levels on the left and right, which is out from the other device, and then you can actually start to using this knob and then to change the levels. So now you will see the audio levels on the left and right is actually like showing you in the display. But you will find out even though I see the level is actually like a bit over, and then it doesn't mean that like maybe my original like maybe a, a pre-fade level is changed. So you have to make sure that whether you want to change your left and right channel here, or maybe you have to go into the uh, certain left uh, menu and then to go to the gain. So that is a very important step how to use this mixer. So there is a very big button called record and then when you record and then the, uh, um, the, uh, the file name is also turned into green, uh, into red color, which is same as a 10T. So once you've done that and then you just press stop button, then you will see the, the file name is now turned into black color. So that means it is in uh, standby mode. So how can I play back? And then you just only need to go into the touch screen and then touch the uh, file name and then it will jump into the shots, uh, into the uh, uh, track list which you have been recorded. So you can choose whatever files you want to play back and then for example like now here and then I just press the play button and then it will play the shots that you are choosing. So that is very easy. So if you want to only see only left and right channel, so this is the setting that is showing you now. But if I want to know more about, for example, like a particular, like maybe a, 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 a audio channel, I only need to use my finger to touch the display and then it will jump into a more advanced mode. It's showing you each levels. So this is very important because, okay, sometimes you want to make sure the audio levels left and right is in, in the right and the right level. And then I just need to press the button and then to make it much a better display, but if I want to go in back, just need to touch the screen and then you will show you all the information. For example, like any channels you have already, uh, what channels is in level and then what's not, and then uh, what is uh, what channel is now in arm recording, what is disabled, and then it will showing you all the information. It's pretty, pretty easy. The mix pre system, you have a lot of choices on the batteries. So if you go to a three and six, and then you can using the uh, um, the, the alkaline um, the AA batteries, but uh, you can actually using a rechargeable batteries or maybe alkaline batteries. But I, I would strongly recommend you get the rechargeable batteries because it will get a longer life. But also you need to set correctly. So what you need to do is go to the menu here. Okay. So press the menu button and then go to power. When you go to power and then it will showing you a lot of options because now I'm using a 10T and then uh, I'm using a Pix LR and then to do the setting. So uh, it will actually jump into the LR. But uh, you, now you will see there is a lot of like, options, for example, like alkaline and then uh, this is a rechargeable batteries. I would strongly use to, um, uh, strongly to recommend you to get the rechargeable batteries and then uh, it will get like a much longer life. But um, yeah, it's true that like the um, the most um, easiest way, and then you is using the LR batteries because uh, the uh, NPF nine seventy uh, series batteries from Sony is actually easy to buy a third party, and also it actually get a much longer life compared with the AA batteries. So because this is a ten T, they also give you an options to get the Hero Say output. 
but actually you can also set the different setting. For example, you come from a VMAR batteries, you come from a, a whatever um, a battery source it is, and then it will, you can actually set in this menu too. Every mix pre-system, they have come with the, uh, um, the Bluetooth function, which is uh, you can uh, connect it to an uh, app's called Wingman. So no matter your iOS or Android system, the Google Play, and then you can also download it for free. So what I need to do is download the apps, and then I open the apps, and then because I'm already the, I already connected with my 10T, so now it was showing you a much bigger screen, and then compare with a small screen like this. At the same time, you can you can actually record, and also you can stop. At the same time, you can actually go into the setting, and then you can show all the informations about like maybe what uh, audio track you have been recorded, and then because the mix pre-system can actually connect different brands interface like the narration light here and then you can using this at a fader and then to control the things and then you can actually control the arm recording here and then there's a lot of functions onto a different interface so for for this it's now become like a desktop based PA system a digital PA system so um, if you do that, and then with a small screen like this, it's actually not convenient. But with the Wingman, now you have become a very uh, large display, easy to use, operated like maybe a desktop PA system. So this is the Wingman. And then remember, this is a free of charge items, which you can use on the, the Big Spree. But how can I set it up? It's very easy. You can actually go to the menu, and then go to System, and then you will see to make sure that the Bluetooth is on. If your Bluetooth is off, that means you cannot connect it with Wingman. And also, if you have a several mixed pre system, how can I open the, um, the, uh, uh, the particular uh, uh, Wingman system? You only need to go to the buttons, which is in the green color from the, uh, this, uh, from the Wingman. It was showing you all the close by uh, mixed pre system, and then you just only need to choose which uh, mixed pre you want to display it. For example, now I only have the 10T. Once you've done that, and then, okay, it will showing you the display, which is exactly the same as the uh, display onto your Mac, uh, the 10T. So it's very easy to use, and also it's also very convenient too.